A Tulsa dentist estimates he spent about $10,000 fixing vandalism at his office. News Channel 8's Daniela Barra live from 15th in Denver to explain why this dentist says he simply had enough. Daniela? Yeah, Neely, well, in the past month, Dr. Parker says he's been hit by vandals twice. And just last night, this window was shattered. And he says this isn't even the worst that he's been hit. Time and time and time again, Dr. Jeff Parker says vandals have wreaked havoc on the place he's practiced dentistry in since 2005. Well, this is my livelihood. Uh, and, and, and I'm real proud of this building. We, we, we put a lot of... A lot of, we have a lot, a lot of invested into it. Surveillance video from Monday night shows a man walking to the side of the building. A few seconds later, the sound of glass shattering. The guy came over with a rock and busted the window out and then left. Uh, that was his intent and purpose. Why, I don't know. I uh, have no idea. Uh, but it, it's just frustrating. Frustrating because he feels helpless. Dr. Parker says the same person has broken his sign three times, but all he can do is file a police report and replace it. My hands are tied. I can't do anything. We asked Tulsa police if vandalism has gone up in the past five years. The same time frame Dr. Parker says he's noticed an uptick. We don't have a way to do that right now, uh, especially with us not having our city source up uh, and other platforms right now because of ransomware. Dr. Parker believes his office will be hit by vandals again. Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't sleep well on Sunday nights because Monday is when I come here to find out whatever is not working, what's broken. Tulsa police and Dr. Parker believe the number of people who hang out at this QT have something to do with the vandalism. Tulsa police also say that vandalism does lead to burglary, burglary. So if you do see something, say something. We're live in Midtown, Danielle Barra, News Channel 8.